create a Hello World LED blinking program. To get started, let's make sure we have all the software we need. So you'll need Go, TinyGo, VS Code, the VS Code uh, TinyGo extension, and the VCP drivers. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do everything as if you're on a Mac. I'll include a link to this README file, and it also has uh, links to where you can go and download the software. For this video, I'm going to simply verify that I have what I need. So let's look to make sure we have the Go compiler. And we have 1.17.8, the tiny Go. And you see we have O22. And it found Go, which is good. That's one of its dependencies. For the extension, I do include a link here, but I usually go over on the left, click this icon, search for tiny Go. And I already have it installed, but this, if you do not have it installed, it'll give you the option to install it. It's a pretty straightforward uh, extension. At the point we have enough software installed uh, to build our program. So let's show how that's done. First thing is create a folder to contain your project. So make dir project01. Navigate into that project, cd project01. And then run the module initialization command for Go. So go mod init and then give it a name. And in this case, I just call it Blinky. Next, and when you do that, it'll create this go mod file that we see on the left. Next, we need to select the board that we're using. I'm using an ESP32 from SparkFun. Um, go, TinyGo doesn't support that board directly, but the closest thing that it does have is this board called an ESP32 core board version 2. So that's what we're going to select. Um, so you can bring up the command palette by pressing command shift P. Um, just type in tiny go and you see that I can select the target and it'll give you a list to pick from. Or what I find easier is if you look below the board selection is displayed there and you can click on that at any time and go select another board. Okay, so this is the board I want. So <clears throat> oh it will often ask you to reload if you change the board. Um, I, I'm not changing it. So then we write our program. In this case the program is very basic. Uh, I'm actually going to go into the real program here. Alright, um, I have a mistake here. So real quickly from the top down we have our main package which is required. Um, we import only two modules, time and machine. Time is probably something you're used to. It's what allows us to do the sleep function down below. But the machine package is uh, what allows you to talk to your board. So this package in conjunction with the board that you select here is what will give you some of the machine specific constants and IntelliSense. So for example, if I uh, you see the machine, yeah, there you go. It'll automatically start giving you uh, the IntelliSense for the machine package, which is very useful. All the pins and stuff are defined. Okay, so the first thing I do is I print uh, to the serial port start. That's optional. Uh, I define a pin, which is pin 2. Um, I just pick pin 2. You could pick other pins. Then we configure that pin for output because we're going to apply power to it to turn the LED on, so we'll be turning that pin on and off. This project is basically just a light switch. Um, then we enter this infinite loop, which um, turns the pin off, waits a half a second, turns it on, waits a half a second, and this repeats. <clears throat> okay, back to... Oops. All right, so back to this. So we need to connect our board to let's get a little bit more space here. We need to connect the board to our USB port and 
this command, flash command, will compile the program and load it onto the board. So you have to specify the board here as well. So let's just do that. Now, what we're going to see is this is not going to work. If, this is something that tripped me up at first. Um, what's needed is to hold the zero button on the board in order to be able to override or flash the, the card. So let's, let's take a look real quick at the circuit that we're building and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So this is a picture of the board right here is pin two. Uh, we're going to connect that to a resistor that's going to come around and be connected to an LED and then that LED was ran to ground. Um, now if you look at the top of the board you see two buttons, a reset button and a zero button. The reset allows you to start your program over. If you remember it's in an infinite loop. If you ever need to start it from the beginning you can just hit reset. The zero button on the right what it does is when I flash the card I need to hold that down in order for it to accept it. So let me show that and I'll show the program running and that'll be the end. Um, and here are some references as I was researching this that might you might find useful. All right, so let me do the demo. All right. So we're going to bring the flash command back up again. And let me bring uh, I have a my here's a live picture of the board. And let's hit flash, and I'm, you'll see me hold the zero button down. There. By holding that button down, I was able to accept it. All right, so now uh, if you can see right here, it's hard to see. That's the LED. It's not blinking yet. I have to hit the reset button to start the Is it